back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Danielle, and today we're in Miami Town talking with Mr. Dick Cady, the president of the Miami Town Historical Society. He's going to talk to us all about the Miami Town Bridge. Thanks so much for talking with us today. Thank you, Danielle. Um, before there was a bridge here in Miami Town, the uh, people got across the river with uh, on a ferry. It was operated by Mr. James Ingersoll. Uh, in 1829, they built a double span bridge to cross the river. It was a covered bridge with a center support, and uh, it had a divided highway and a walkway, which was probably a luxury for that time. Um, the bridge was built in 1829 by a company that was formed, and they sold stock to pay for the bridge. So that bridge lasted until 1894 when it was torn down to build a new bridge. But during the lifetime of that bridge, in 1863, Morgan's Raiders came through Miami Town. When they came into Ohio on July 13th, they went through Harrison and they split up in New Haven and 500 men were detached and ordered to come to Miami Town, cross the bridge and burn it. Well, Major Bill Rainey from Cincinnati had a different idea. He brought scouts from Cincinnati and uh, they took all the planks up on the floor. So when Raiders, Morgan's Raiders men got here, they couldn't cross the bridge. That forced them to ford the river on the north side and when they came back up to the highway, Major Rainey had an ambush set up. So they fired, they fired a volley and killed two of Morgan's men, captured three, and wounded three. One of the people they captured was his prize scout, Ike Snow. It didn't take long for Morgan's men to chase them away. Basically, they were outnumbered. But Morgan's men rode away because they had, they had uh, Union soldiers on their heels. So that saved the bridge. So that bridge ended up being torn down in, in 1894. In 1894, they built a steel structure which was, at the time, the largest single-span camelback bridge without a center support. It was 393 feet long, and it, it was built by the Cleveland Bridge Company in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1913, the Great Flood, only two bridges on the Miami River survived, the Miami Town Bridge and the Ross Bridge. Ironically, they were both built by the Cleveland Bridge Company. In 1894, after the steel bridge was built, um, it lasted until 1989. It was demolished in January of that year. In 1989, um, they hired a company, National Engineering, out of Strongsville, Ohio, to build a temporary bridge across the river. Um, and it, it sat on pilings, drove into the riverbed. And in May of that year, the river was up. It piled a lot of debris against the bridge. and sort of acted like a dam and it just put so much pressure on the bridge that a hundred foot a hundred foot span of it collapsed and unfortunately two people lost their lives it was a mother and daughter and uh, but after that after that bridge collapsed um, ironically a Hamlin County Sheriff here working on the recovery effort actually lost his life as well he he died of a heart attack um, but the bridge we have today was dedicated in, in late 1989, and it's, it's a concrete structure, and it seems to be a fairly substantial. It's not a pretty bridge, but it's a fairly substantial bridge. So that's the bridge we have today. bridge the the first steel bridge when the, we had the 1913 flood one thing that kind of impressed me was the river was 33 inches over the bridge floor which to me that much uh, that much pressure on that bridge and it still survived so it's kind of incredible yeah the old to the old uh, covered bridge actually had a, a toll house so they sold stock to pay for it and they also charged the toll for people to cross the bridge 
uh, to pay for the bridge and pay the investors back. So that was pretty that was pretty interesting to see how they did it back then. Uh, the new bridge, uh, the steel bridge that was built in 1894, actually, <clears throat> it took a year to build that build that bridge, and uh, basically at 1894 cost, it cost a hundred thousand dollars to build it. Um, and the bridge we have today, the current concrete bridge, it was it was opened in November of 1989. So it is there today and hopefully there for a long, long time. Thanks again so much for tuning in to today's edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we spent time in Miami Town, Ohio, talking with Dick Cady all about the Miami Town Bridge. We hope that you enjoy learning all about it. Remember... Travel slowly and stop often. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.